talking about the bone scan protocol uh, in particular, uh, you mentioned that uh, most of your patients are about 14. Most of the indications are for back pain. So in these children, uh, is SPECT-CT one of the first-line imaging tools that would be ordered for uh, chronic and uh, repeat uh, bone pain that can't be diagnosed in other ways or can't be attributed to maybe traumatic injuries? Well, a lot of these, in fact, are traumatic injuries. Um, young junior high school and high school athletes do manage to injure their spines. Spondylolysis is a common injury, so we're not dealing with an uncommon problem. Uh, the, but there are, as I pointed out, there are a number of other lesions that look exactly the same on the SPEC scan, and making the correct diagnosis is really facilitated by SPEC. We originally started out not doing uh, the CT, part of the SPEC CT on every patient, but we're moving, because of the very small added radiation dose, when you do the very low dose CT scans that we're doing, we've, pre we've moved to bas basically doing it on everybody, so we're also catching the cases of spondylolysis with no increased uptake, which are often either not seen on plain film uh, or not seen on MRI even.